Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Kadija. Okay, you guys. I guess those of y'all who are making your first trip to the Mental House, let me welcome you and thank you for being out there. Okay, I appreciate your presence. I um, honor you for coming to my channel. And um, I hope that you find something here that you can relate to and enjoy. So with that being said, I have to make sure I stay as open and as calm as possible when I think about what has happened to my brother Kanye West. It is so insane what has happened to my brother. Let me say it again. Kanye West. I mean, oh God, Kyrie Irving. Um, the fact that you would compare the two is really mind-boggling. It's, it's totally mind boggling. But what this is, is showing me is that there was some residue from Irving not getting that jab. And there's a lot of people that are very angry because, see, you're supposed to be a function, you're supposed to function in unison. Okay, you don't, you're not supposed to have a thought. That's your own, as far as the corporation is concerned, when you're playing in the NBA. Shout out to Nessie and Perfect Money, Irene, this morning. Thank y'all for being out there. Thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. Nessie, you always have the comments, and I appreciate it. Anyway, I want to say, um, you know, a lot of people don't. I really, really understand. Uh, and I'm not saying this for a sympathy grab or whatever. It is what it is. It's history. And part of the problem on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, is the, the people that run these uh, secret societies know that if the masses of Americans would really, really understand history, then all the isms and schisms and at least a, a vast majority of them wouldn't be validated anymore. I mean, you got a group of people saying that they're the chosen people of God and they've been getting away with that for oh, a pretty long time. Okay? Now, you got to remember, I'm from the first people of God. Right? So, you everybody knows that life starts in Africa. Even your great scholars like Lindo, Le you know, Leaky, all these guys said that. Lucy was the first woman in, okay, well, we already know what group has the less Neanderthal in there. This is all science now. Okay, you can check it out. Okay? Africans don't have a, a high percentage of Neanderthalism. Okay? So, to me, that shows something. What it does show me, in a sense, is that that's why the two groups are a little different. Okay? And then when you add on to that, stuff like the Talmud, in my opinion, happens to be one of the most, well, it's, one, it's a lot of racism in it. Okay, when you talk about the Talmud, when you talk about how long my people have been enslaved from the Arab trade, listen, and I'm not saying this because it's a black and white thing. Hell, Africans sold Africans into slavery. Okay? The ones they had left, the ones that, you know, when 
we were always having little tribal wars and enslaving one another. And the ones we had left, we sold them to the Europeans. So about, as a human family, everybody is responsible for the hatred. Okay? Everybody is responsible for the crap. Not just one group of people. But there is one group of people that has the power to take away your money, take away your livelihood, and all this stuff if you don't agree with them. Now, to me, that's just, that's gone too god darn far. And they've been doing it for a while now. But what's happening is the planet is coming alive. And that's why it's the big new presence. He said it used to be a time where it was easier to control a million people than to kill them. Now you have to kill a million people because you can't control. The internet is allowing us to communicate with each other. The internet is allowing all information that you had to go in the library and sit, sit for hours and hours and hours if you had a certain particular specific research that you were trying to do. You don't have to do that now. It's at your fingertips. So as a human family, even though we have gotten wiser, we've gotten very, very inhumane. We've gotten dumber. What's happening with Kyrie now, what I think is really, it's just atrocious because what they want Kyrie to do is just act like this history that they're, that they're claiming, they're telling him how to think. And because he won't think that way, because he won't acknowledge he, he said, look, you want me, I'm, I'm not, I love all walks of life. I don't know how many ways, but you know what? They say he didn't apologize good enough. Jump through another hoop. Jump through another hoop. Okay? Put the ball in the hoop. Uh... And I don't want to hear what the hell you got to say. Now, I can insult you. I can insult your race. I can insult your babies. I can have no love for you. Because just because you throw money at something, I can stop whatever you think. Because I want you to think like me. And if you don't acknowledge that I'm better than you, I'm the chosen one, and I don't like the way you apologize. Then I think you should be suspended. You know what? You know, I come from an age where I watched Muhammad Ali. I know, have been in the mosque with Muhammad Ali. <laughs> As a lot of y'all know, I spent a considerable amount of time growing up as a child when it wasn't a choice of mine in Temple Number 3 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Right? Chicago is about, what, an hour from here. And that's where the big mosque is, Mosque Marion. So I've gone and I've been a part of this for a long time. And there's been some things I don't agree with coming up in the nation of Islam. There's been a lot that I didn't agree with. But there was a whole, whole lot that I did. And there was a whole lot that could be proven. So I can never take that away from the NOI. Okay? But this is the same reason why Farrakhan has been ostracized. You know, Bruce Willis, I think there's a few actors that was what well, wasn't I won't say forced to but ended up listening to a full sermon of Farrakhan and you know what they said hey there's nothing wrong with what this guy said at all this is a leader this 
this is this is a leader. This is a leader not only for black people, but for white people, for all of us. He's a world leader. But you know what? That voice was silenced. Nobody wants you to think that Farrakhan has something to say to every human being. They don't want to paint. They, they've done a very good job of painting him as a demigod and not a lover of humanity. And anybody that knows the man knows he's a lover of people. Okay? So I could never let anybody crap on Minister Farrakhan. I could never do it. I've known him all my life. I knew him when he was Louis X. Right? So, the, it, the point being, all these years, a lot of people said he's anti-Semitic because they've taken bits and pieces of his speech and cut it and edited up like a Photoshop and presented it back to the people so they can develop all this hatred for Louis Farrakhan. Oh, I've watched how they orchestrate stuff now. So now if you cross that line and you say something, it doesn't matter if you talk about wicked Muslims in the slave trade. It doesn't matter if you talk about wicked Christians in the slave trade. But if you talk about the muse and their wicked dealings, in the slave trade, then all of a sudden everything falls apart because you're not supposed to say anything about them because they're the chosen people of God. I mean, now how long do you think a humanity that has a thought process is going to believe that? Who in the hell do you think you are? That's my question. I'm sorry. Who? Everybody are the chosen of God. All of us. All of humanity is the chosen people of God, not just one group. And with that being said, I'm the first child of God. Huh? Huh? How much love do we have oh, when, on our firstborn? After we had a firstborn, you know, it becomes almost routine. But you want me to disrespect myself as the first human being that God made and then kiss your behind because you say you're the chosen one that God made. I'm sorry. Kyrie can't do that and neither can I and neither can any other a woke, a real woke Negro. They can't do that. I liked Shaquille O'Neal and I liked Charles Barkley. Well, not going to say a lot. I liked him when he played but I can actually see who runs the media. There is not one person who is on Kyrie's side. There's not one person that said, well, wait a minute. No, don't think he should have more education. There's not one person. All of them have started this hate campaign on, on Kyrie. So much that now that he's suspended for five days, five games, and they want to trade him. You see there? But Jeff Bezos has got the movie up on Amazon and you ain't going after him. Who is Jeff Bezos? Why are you not going after him? Kyrie didn't make that movie. He just put a like, like we all do when we see something. You know, he liked a lot of stuff that he saw in the movie. So did I. Because it brought about that history that y'all try to cover up like you always did. Like you made the Middle East out of the whole continent. The whole continent was Africa or whatever. You made the Middle East. You you always trying to divide and conquer. And then you want people to say, oh, but look at these people. Oh, blessed are these people. And now all the rest of y'all can kick rocks. I stand with Kyrie. And a lot of y'all ain't going to stand with me because I stand with Kyrie, but that's okay. That's okay. I love the human family. 
But I also know that charity begins at home and then spreads abroad. I can't sit out here and my house is on fire and I'm out there watering the grass talking about, oh, look at my neighbor's house. Uh-huh. Look at my neighbor's house. <laughs> Oof. And, and, my, and if I turn around, my house is burning down. And all I can do is go, look at her. She ain't took out the garbage. Uh-huh. Look at my neighbor. Uh-huh. 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 That looks like a fool. Stand for yourself like Muhammad Ali did. Your whole problem is whenever you go against the grain. That's the whole thing. And Kyrie, you built for it. You built for it. You may not want to because you spend all your time as a little boy playing this game that you love. And now this is the politics of it because our whole lives are politics. But one thing we, not, we stop doing is letting other people shit on this so they can have the glory. So they can crap on us. So they can have the glory. Those days are over. And I think it's enough people out here that stand with Kyrie that they understand exactly what's going on. Anybody that's a free and, th and a thinker that actually really loves humanity, for real, for real, then we have to look at all of our ugliness. Each generation, each race, we all have ugliness. And if we can't face it, we certainly can't fix it. But what you're not going to get me to do is downgrade my brother. Just like you kicked Muhammad Ali out of boxing when he was at the height of his athletic prowess. You kicked him out the game because he wouldn't kowtow. But y'all made it about he didn't want to go to the army. First, you said he was too dumb to go. See? Before he got famous, he was too dumb. He said, oh, no, 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 we can't use him. But all of a sudden, when he became a member of the Nation of Islam and he won the championship, now you want him to go to the army. You dirty bastards. Then you had the machine move. Well, if, what do you think about this? Well, I want you to talk about this. Well, what do you mean you don't go a kill no big con? He said, listen. I'm not going to go and kill no Viet Cong that's across the water for you, who is my open enemy. And when I come back here, you treat me like shit. And I got to fight the enemy that's here. That's you. But yet you want me to go across the water and lose my life possibly and take somebody else's, a little Viet Cong who ain't never done nothing to me, who's brown just like me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not a functionary puppet like that. And he took a stand and he lost. He lost. But he's also going to go down in the history books as one of the greatest boxers that ever lived. Muhammad Ali. And as a man that stood with principle, I rock with Muhammad Ali. And a lot of you people, if you wouldn't be, didn't have so much fragility and you weren't afraid, because that's what I call it, and you weren't so shut down mentally that you could hear somebody else's opinion besides your own, something that black people have to deal with every single day of our existence in America, listen to people tell it the way they want to tell it, define us the way they define us, talk about us the way they talk about us, just cut us off from rights, poison our water, do it all. We take all kinds of abuse from the dominant society. And yet you want us to kiss your ass. That is insane. That's insane. And I don't think no other group, it's just like how they, listen, when you go to those countries like Lithuania and Bosnia and some of those other European countries that have war, look how they do it. Look how they do the people that they feel that's less than. It's the same script. It's the same script. The Bosnians. <clears throat> this is not a new script. This is not a new script. 
but nobody wants to talk about the millions of dollars that Brett Favre stole from Mississippi from the poor. But Kyrie is the number one conversation because those people mad because he didn't call time. They didn't like his apology. And they like, who are you, nigga? Excuse my language. Who are you? I want you to apologize the way I want you to apologize. You don't have a choice, Negro. Don't you know who I am? I'll take everything from you, just like I did Kanye. But the reason why I said two things that separate them, Kanye said DEFCON, DEFCON, you know, he went there. And as far as I'm concerned, when he started insulting me and his own self, then I knew he was just a whack job. That I don't, and that was a long time ago when he first said that slavery was a choice. Okay? But what I do want you guys to know, that no matter how indifferent that we are and no matter how much we disagree with one another, we have to realize that it's okay. What happened to the days when we could disagree? That don't mean I gotta hate you. We just disagree. Okay? Now, if we're going to walk together, then we have to agree. But it's okay if we don't. If you, if you believe this and I believe that, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to take anything away from you. But you're trying to take away my very existence because I don't agree with you. Even though I earned my money, I made sacrifices and did what I had to do and followed the program. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they do con uh, do Kyrie like they did Muhammad Ali. So I'm preparing for that. Even though he's box office, one of the most exciting guards besides Steph Curry in the NBA, I can't think of somebody as more box office than Kyrie. Kyrie slick. He got the moves. Uh, but because he didn't apologize the way they wanted him to. He gave 500000 and I hope the Players Association get involved with this so this man can get his money back. Y'all can't stand out on the island totally away from him. And if so, then I think cause black consumers, we got uh, we got some um, thinking to do whether we still going to support this game or not. I mean, we saw what they did to Colin Kaepernick. We saw it. Just because he wanted to take a damn knee? <laughs> Listen, Colin Kaepernick was born in Milwaukee, and a lot of us allegedly believe he's the son of James Lofton. So we got love for Colin Kaepernick. We always did. But I'll tell you this. They did the same thing to him. They blackballed him. They blackballed him. All because he wanted to take a knee against police killing. Do y'all hear me? He wanted to take a stand against police killing. So they kicked him out the NFL. Okay. As if he didn't have the right to take a knee. And guess where he got the idea from? A white guy. He was adopted by a white man. Why did he take the oppression? Because if most white people had to live, uh, they couldn't even live a day being black, for real, for real. I mean, it's, it's cool when you got a black friend, but when you get to the point when you see how what, like the police did, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, black or brown, send you back to the white man, when you really get to see what it's like living on this other side right here, when you know damn well you're not less than. It's really a mind play that you have to work on your mind every single day to build your self-esteem up because the whole country is geared towards tearing your self-esteem down. That's what they got rich off of. That's what slavery was all about. It was for the desecration of your mind and your soul. <laughs> but you can't kill God. You really can't. And the God that flickers inside of us 
it won't be denied. It won't. If it made it through the Atlantic slave trade, if it made it through slavery, Jim Crow, Reconstruction, Civil Rights, what other group you know had to fight like this? But then you want me to keep acknowledging your pain, your son, but you don't want to understand the struggle that we all been through and continue to go through. So much to the point that you've driven most of us mad. Where we turn on ourselves. Nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to have that conversation, huh? Well, if you do, leave a comment below and we can go live on this conversation. I would love to. Only in the spirit of love. See, I ain't trying to get with no spirit of hate. We don't have to agree. And we can still do it in the spirit of love. I stand with you, Kyrie. And the Players Association better get uh, figure out a way to give you your money back. Because they're about to kick you out the league. This is the bullshit they do. Okay, this is how they do it. And I know you love the game of basketball. Right now you're making an ultimate sacrifice for something you didn't even do. But just know that it's bigger than this damn movie. Because they ain't going after Jeff Bezos to take the movie down. You didn't make the damn movie. The movie ain't anti-Semitic from whose perspective? Whose perspective? It's the news or the blues, whatever your perspective is. But I'll be damned if you won't get, get to tell me how to think. You, you're not going to do that. The day of the master slave is really, really over. It really is. Okay? So, listen, I'm going to get off and I hope this opens up some dialogue from people that's listening to me. I would love to learn more about the Jewish, Jewish community and why they really believe that they're chosen over everybody in the world. And I'm saying that humbly. I'm not saying that with no malice in my heart. Why do you think that you're better than everyone? Why do you think that a Holocaust that lasted less than 10 years is more greater than a Holocaust that lasted over 400 years? And what is considered a Holocaust to you? Because they're still swinging, hanging us from trees. They're still splitting us down the middle. they still selling. They sell our body parts. They sell our body parts. That's how valuable we are in parts. Because they don't love us whole. They don't love us whole. And let's talk about it. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.